A new crisis for Sussex. Catherine quietly wins secret Meghan over greatest tragedy showdown. One of the king's two daughters-in-law, who would have predicted that in 2023 it would be the Princess of Wales, who would be the one hitting her stride and doing exciting, ambitious things, and that it would be Meghan whose career would seem to be floundering. Princess Catherine has just played a blinder, while the Duchess of Sussex has hit one of the rockiest patches she's ever seen. One was worn by Kate, who had one of her best months yet, and the second was donned by Meghan, who is coming off one of the rockiest patches since she arrived on the scene. Kate looked like princess was a role she was born to occupy. However, Kate is not just nailing the dress code, but the actual job too. In the last few months alone, Kate has corralled CEOs from nine global companies for a business task force launch a UK-wide advertising campaign, so Kate, strength to strength, nailing it, gold stars all around. The same cannot quite be said for her sister-in-law, Megan, whose biggest achievement in the last month has been inadvertently providing Hertz with a tsunami of global exposure. Just in case anyone was in doubt whether a former accessories buyer who is greatest Actually, only achievement pre-marriage was running a charity roller disco had made it, here was the unimpeachable proof. If Kate had been trying to dial up her queenly cred with her outfit and doing her bit for the knockoff royal souvenir industry, then Megan's was all about framing herself as someone fully in control of her own narrative. Currently, the Duchess has no new projects for Netflix or Spotify and there has not been any sort of resounding clamor for her to pen another children's book. The great unanswered question that swirls around them is, what else do they have to offer to audiences, streaming companies and publishers now that they have dredged up all of their palace-related pain? Catherine and William have the wow factor as a double act as the Earthshot Prize launches, they have pulling power. They make headlines for the right reasons. She has made the role as the new princess her own. Her work with early learning for young children has been groundbreaking. And now, royal insiders express concern that the Princess of Wales risks overshadowing King Charles with her glossy solo appearances in recent weeks and months. A familiar pattern may be resurfacing. We have seen a sign of that at the Chelsea Flower Show, where the Princess of Wales dazzled and, perhaps understandably, drew more attention than his own visit. But this time it will be with Charles's blessing, for he knows for monarchy to survive it must be relevant to the younger generation. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly planning a new feature-length film on what goes on inside the palace. The couple are said to be in talks with Netflix to produce new movie on their royal lives with a focus on their experience of living inside the palace. Their new venture was reportedly inspired after Netflix revealed its creating a feature film about Prince Andrew's infamous BBC interview with journalist Emily Maitlis. A source says Meghan and Harry plan to wait and see what the reception to this new film is like first, but think they have a big screen story to tell about what happens in the palace. The source says the couple were obviously happy with their paycheck from Netflix for the documentary and are keen to work with the streaming giant again. The source claims Netflix are not interested in documentaries or children's TV shows from the couple, but want more juicy stuff about their royal lives.